Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to Open TTD Let's Play Series Nine. Can we believe? I can't believe we're doing this. Series Nine. Things, things are wow. Yes, I mean that is not including the live Let's Plays that didn't make the archives. Greetings, Brandon, DJ, or watching on Twitch above the line over there on YouTube. Astrin, Nudger, Nudger as well. Hello, Nudger. Welcome, welcome. Nine, yes. What, what do we do when we get to ten? Just like the world end or something. I have no idea. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a little introduction and pad for just a little bit of time for those people who are watching live and who have got adverts and stuff. Normally I do a little countdown before the start of my live streams, uh, but I seem to have accidentally deleted the stream starting soon scene. <laughs> Recently, uh, uh, this weekend, I'm hopefully going to be going to Tower LAN. I've got a, a road trip and a LAN party planned, and I transferred my settings over to my laptop so I can do some live streams while I'm over there. So watch out on social media and Discord for announcements about that. There'll be unplanned streams going live at random points throughout the weekend. And somehow, moving everything over or copying a profile, I've managed to delete my intro. So never mind. Here we go. This is what we're doing. You've been chewing your way through Season 6 on your way back and you've really got into it. Yeah, I mean, Season 6 is taking so long that Season 7 Live and 8 Live have both started and finished, and now we're going to start 9 Live. How How is that? Hello, good evening, everybody. Oh, the world ends when you do more open t TTD series than your age. Oh, we've got plenty of time to go yet then, Brandon. I am much older than that. Hey, Paint Spot, welcome to the stream. Um... Yeah, now, we are almost certainly breaking 500 videos today um, on the main series. So if you go through my series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 Let's Plays, add the tutorial and spotlight videos in, that's almost certainly more than 500 open TTD videos, which is absolutely fantastic. How was York? York was pretty cool. York was good. Did a few different things in York, including visiting the Railway Museum. I brought back some postcards to do as giveaways, so watch out on social media and Discord for information about those giveaways. Well, we've been chatting for a couple of minutes, and that's all we need to get people in and get them past the adverts on certain streaming platforms. So let's switch over to OpenTTD. Oh yes, here we go. Haha. <laughs> I can't believe how long it's been since the start of Season 6. I know. It's been quite a while. Uh, just checking. You all seeing and hearing me good. It certainly looks okay from my side. Yes. Um, you're having to glide in EVE. Oh, Brandon's playing EVE. The, sc the new title screen is, is weird. Yeah, it is. I actually had a comment on one of my videos that it actually makes somebody that was watching it feel motion sick. Um, and that's all. This is one of the new things for 1.12 that they have this title screen that is like how it was before. And then all of a sudden, it will just start moving. <laughs> um and there's a couple of other things with version 12 as well. Uh, they've hidden all signals apart from path signals. You can turn them on in the game settings. You can turn it off. What, the scrolling title screen? I tried to find that. I couldn't find the setting. And one of the other things they've done, which we will be making use of tonight, is you can now use the different cargo types from industry sets like furs without needing some sort of special wagon set. The default stuff works. So yes. Uh, so yeah, there we go, folks. Uh, we are in Open TTD 1.12. There's been some confusion. Um, there's been some people commenting saying, oh yeah, they've done this in the Steam version, or they've done that in the Steam version. No, um, there is no 
Steam version. As far as you're concerned, they're the same. There's a couple of back-end things to make it work on Steam, but the games are the same. The difference is, is that Steam will automatically update you, and you don't automatically update from the website version. So people go, ah, the Steam version. No, that's just new OpenTTD. So um, just to clarify, they're the same. So here we are. I am playing the Steam version. Uh, 1.12.1, I think, is coming out quite soon. Uh, you feel bad for only ever using path signals. So you'll probably want the others even available even though you'll never use them. There's no reason at all to use the other signals now that the, the new path signals are in the game unless you're doing things like uh, logic gates or priority merges and things like that. Things that are usually far beyond what we normally do in a game like this. Well, I can see the numbers for people watching the stream has kind of come up and kind of... You know, they've plateaued a little bit, so it looks like everybody that wanted to be here for the beginning uh, is now here. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a brand new game. And what I've done is I've gone to online content and I've searched for furs because we're going to be doing furs, as the stream title should suggest. Let me just check that. Stream title. Yes, it is showing me as playing Open TTD on on Twitch. That's fantastic. And you can see that we've got several different versions here. So you've got like the latest or the most recent version of version one, two, three, and four. And we will be playing version four today. So first, yeah. Hey, cool dude. Welcome to the stream. One twelve point one is already available. Well, why am I not playing 12.1? Uh, maybe... Oh, what? It looks like the 12.1 update was released between me launching the game and now. How crazy is that? Should we update? We'll update quickly. Because it doesn't take long, does it? Yeah, it li yeah. so um, earlier on in the day, I knew that I wasn't going to have much um, much time before the stream to like get it all set up. There you are. It's already updated. And there we are. We're in 1.12.1 uh, now. And they've dropped the 1, I've noticed. Yeah, we just make some cars. Right, back to open TTE. There we go. <laughs> that easy to update um so yeah i'm not sure how much i'm going to get done in this first episode but we're going to set up the game and i'm going to set up the premise and i'm going to walk through a couple of things in case people are not familiar with this so we're going to be playing this series with one mod just one but we've got it set on silly mode so like i was saying before you go into check online content you can filter because there's a lot in there um we filter for furs. There's there's the industry replacement set. We've got version four, and then you click it, click download, which I've already done, and then you can go into the new GRF settings. And if you haven't already selected it, you can go. And I've got loads installed. You can see that I've got pretty much every version of furs there is, and you can just highlight it and add. And then that there's the ones that are active. Now, if you want to look at more, you can visit the website, which takes you to the industry replacement set, and there you can see the economies, including Steel Town. Now, speaking of Steel Town, we need to go to set parameters and change the economy from temperate basic to Steel Town. Steel Town is basically. Well, basically, it's got 48 cargo types and 30 industries, and it's all. It's all geared towards making one commodity for the towns. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll close that, apply the changes, then just have a quick look. Yep, still set to Steel Town. And we'll close that. There we go. So we've got one mod downloaded, set up, installed, and ready to roll. 
Elaine says, I'm thinking about getting Age of Empires 4, but then again, I still have to complete OpenTTD Quad Game, Minecraft Eve Online, and somewhere in between, there's a little random thing called school. Yeah, um, I was looking at uh, Age of Empires, and me and Rocket, who is going to be coming to the LAN party me at the, uh, with me at the weekend, we were looking at buying Age of Empires 4 to play at the LAN. Then I saw the price, N not yet. Probably the first time it goes on sale, maybe. But we did both purchase a brand new game to play at the LAN. So tune in for the live streams over the weekend to find out what that is. Uh, I will likely be streaming it. Okay, so we've got our mod installed. Let's set up a new game. So I'm going to go with a relatively large map size. Normally for these games, I do it 1000 by 1000. But we're going to go big this season. We're going pretty big. Uh, we're going to use the Terra Genesis land generator. We're going to have flat land, but it's not very flat, with medium distribution and a medium sea height. So we're going to have some bodies of water, but there's not going to be too many. And there's, the distribution is like, there's going to be some areas which are quite flat and some areas which are quite hilly. Whereas if you've got no distribution, it's, just, it's all just pretty much the same. Is it Age of Empires 2? No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, basically the price. The price is what noped me out on that as well, Astrian. That's the only thing that turned me away from buying the game there and then. Number of towns low, number of industries normal. And what we're going to be doing, and we haven't done this... I don't think we've ever done this in one of our Let's Plays. We're going to be starting in 1925. Which, if I've got this right, is when the first ever steam vehicle comes out... Uh, the railway vehicle comes out on the temperate environment. Uh, 60 euros is fairly normal for a completely new game. That I, I can understand that, yes. I can understand like uh, a new game, a really good AAA title, it's coming out uh, and I'd expect that price. But <sighs> when you compare it to my current games that I play, like the free games, like OpenTTD, Crossout and that sort of stuff, and the online games where I'm paying like £10 a month at the moment. It's like it just doesn't fit in with my budget. Does that mean there's a depress massive depression soon? I'm not sure, Jackamack. Jimster, happy Tuesday night. A very happy Tuesday night. Those people that are wa not watching live are like, come on, start the game. Yeah, well, we're going to do that very soon. So, yes, like I just said, we're going to be starting in 1925 with smoothness, some rivers, and the town names. We're going to use the original English set, and we're just going to generate a random world. And off we go. So even with my decent computer, it takes a moment to generate this world. There we go. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Um, so, the game's automatically paused. Let me just check my headset volume. Yeah, mu game music just seems to be slightly loud. I'm just going to knock it down slightly. Um... 1925 is when the quad challenge started yeah we've never i don't think we've done a live series like that okay so we've got to decide what we're going to do and how we're going to start so as you can see let's go over to the map actually the map's a really good way to see this so if we turn off the town names and we just look at like the land height you can see that there's areas where there's like a lot of hills and there's areas with like hardly any hills which is really good Beanie Nixon says, do you not need the vehicle replacement set so they can be changed to the new cargo types? No, not as of 1.12. And we'll just test that theory quite quickly. It's going to cost us the price of it. No, it isn't. Won't cost us a depot because we can just go to trains, available trains. And if we go cargo types, you see, look, there we go. We can just go, oh, quick climb, the coal truck, and bam, it's compatible fantastic feature of 1.12 yeah and it is a big map it is a big map it's the probably I'm not going to say for sure but it's probably the biggest map i've um, i've ever done on a live let's play but i wanted a big map because i want to do a really beautiful network so the objective of this series is to not only it's not just to get involved with the whole steel town thing and produce the cars and by the way if anybody wants the link i should be able to put it out in all the chats 
that's the link to the website which will show you how the economies uh, sorry how the all the industries and stuff link together so we're doing a uh, temperate yeah and it, we're doing temperate again i have also got the trees turned off invisible so let's turn the trees back on there we go so we've got to yeah where to start paint start indeed where to start i think what we'll do is we'll start off with i mean coal mines do produce coal still and that does go to a coke oven so that sounds like a good starting point because good old coal who remembers good old coal um let's have a look on the on the world map maybe engineering supplies maybe andrew says morning finally able to catch you live well welcome andrew welcome welcome let's choose industries and we can then disable all the industries and just turn on coal mines and coke ovens and i guess what we should also do is decide whereabouts we want to start in the world i think if we start in one of the flatter areas that'll be a good idea so maybe somewhere like there are lots of industries are there too many industries no, it's complicated. It, it, it's fine. JBay's here. Your internet's all better. Fantastic. There was a first save a couple for. A, there was a first save a couple of Viewer Plus started on the Viewer Plus server a while back. Not sure. Not really an idea about that. Electric supplies are worth the most. Yeah, but they're. There's a there's a relatively big challenge to that. So what we're going to do is focus on this flat area of map first. I mean, we can probably go into something a little bit more complex quite soon, but not straight away. So <laughs> I was going to say, so over here, there's about as many coke ovens as there are coal mines. I guess what we want to do is find somewhere with a lot of coal mines. But I don't know what also goes to a coke oven. Just It's just coal according to the website items and stuff hey started playing a month ago your videos were very been helpful i'm glad they've been helpful and i hope you're enjoying the game so i think what we'll do is we'll choose uh where's it gone there it is so there's a coke oven there and there's a few coal mines that are not too far away which I think in this early stage of the game is probably a good idea to work with because we're going to have slow vehicles and we're going to have to try and make some good money off them. I'm just thinking that this coke oven is just a little bit too close to the first coal mine. Let's have a look again at the map. Let's get this right. So this coke oven here that's not right next to one of the coal mines is it just me or are there just too many industries on this map there are loads aren't there it was a bit close hey what you miss king assassin okay so very quick um update of what we've missed so far so hello welcome to season nine we're playing open ttd version 1.12.1 .1. we're playing with the first mod and we're playing steel town and uh we haven't really got fully started so you haven't missed a, a massive amount uh yeah i mean there's almost too many industries to lay track around but there's like there's 30 different types of industries so you kind of need a lot of industries i guess should we quickly restart and turn down the number of industries quick shout out in chat what do you reckon Quick shout out in chat right now. Do we crack on or do we just quickly restart with a lower number of industries? Yeah, the update. There was the update 12.1. I actually loaded the game before the update and had to reload whilst we were streaming. Less industries said so Brandon. Paint Stutz says lower. Restart. Yeah, okay. Looks like the chat saying restart. Yeah, okay, okay. We are quickly abandoned. We haven't we we're not in we've got all the settings as before we're just going to set number of industries to low we've got a massive map we'll be fine here we go 
keep this so we had one person say keep the map here we go so this map's going to be in exactly the same flavor so if we look at it we're going to have high areas of land low areas of land and it looks like oh yeah the distribution of industries is so much better and it's going to provide a bit more of a better challenge as well okay let's see if we can find a good starting point for our industry so if we disable all coal mines and coke ovens wow that does provide a challenge doesn't it at least we have to be careful with picking our coke ovens now there's only 35 on the map so there's there's a few coke ovens around here there's one there kind of like this one what does it produce coal tar sulfur and coke which goes to a blast furnace so it is useful in our supply chain um just trying to figure out where the rest would be <laughs> you're alone with your choice well not everybody's the same yeah <laughs> you can't restart life that is true there is a big drop off i would i would prefer a slider I think I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think I'm gonna go with this coke oven here it just seems like a good one to go for because there's two quite close by but then there's two right over here and one and two down here as well although this map makes it look probably a lot closer than what it is let's have a look so there's one coal mine there and one there, and you would have to come down here. Oh, that's not too bad. I think this is a good choice. Check the whole chain. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, Tim and that's not how we work around here. <laughs> it's very ready, fire, aim. <laughs> uh, it's just a starting line. It's just to make some money. We may not even start working with our full chain round here so there is our coke oven let's get cracking and build a basic railway so i think what we'll do and i want to try and make some relatively realistic stations here so we'll start off with i think we'll do a terminus station i'm going to put it there I'm going to do it two platforms, maybe. It's pretty, pretty big, isn't it? Are you a steel pro or no? I have done it before. I have done it before. Uh, I've played around with it a couple of times, and then I've done it in a viewer's game as well. So I have some experience with it. I think what we'll do now is we will do... See, row row stations aren't very. They're not very realistic, are they? In some ways. Let's go with one track. Let's go with one track to begin with. We'll start off very modest. And we'll we'll grow it. Ugh, could have done that better. There we go. Let's use the natural land. We've not got a lot of money to get us going. These, these are basically our um, money makers. You had to Google Coke Oven. Oh no! Accidentally put a piece track down. Now this one is on a hill, which I didn't notice before. So... The other ones are starting to look a little bit more better. But I, I guess the one on the hill... I really don't want to do the one on the hill. Let's get this one up and going. Let's start with the the simplest of, of things. So first things all, first things first, we'll look at an engine. We've only got one, the Kirkby Paul tank. It's a steam engine. It goes a maximum of 64 kilometers an hour. Um, it'll last 15 years. <laughs> it's an oven that can <laughs> that cooks cola cans. Hence, Coke Oven. Row Row is realistic. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, let, we're going to buy that. 
and then we're going to change it to coal and we'll start with a smaller vehicle probably four trucks we're going to start steady here folks if we got we haven't got build while pause on so we're going to say come here full load down the line unload there simple as that jobs are good Yeah, well, we could just maybe we'll build like some hyper realistic sections of the network. I, I do want to do some realistic stuff. Um, I've just got a bunch of messages. So, whilst our first train makes its first journey, just going to check nothing is urgent. Bear with me. Yeah, I think everything's okay. Right, it's all good. It's all good. Second thought, though, this map looks nicer. You was wrong. Wow. Um, you know, it sometimes takes a lot to admit uh, that you was wrong. Too bad Furs isn't compatible with the Z-based graphics pack. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got our first train up and running, which is important. Now, I put two tracks on there because I was going to go to this coal place. But it's right up the top of this hill. I think I'm going to skip that one. Let's see where the next closest one is. So, from where we are up here, it's probably this coal mine here. So, let's do that. Let's put a simple station in over here. We're going to have to take out some loan. Let's take out all of it because we're just going to build. We really... I haven't actually checked the cargo payment rates. Cargo payment rates. Disable all. Coal. How is coal compared to passengers? Wow. Okay, so in this, passengers pay a lot more. Well, I guess cold isn't good old coal in the end, isn't it? Probably some of the best ones to go for by the looks of it is... I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll... Um, maybe we'll do some passengers next. If we've got any money left, if we've got a business left. There we go. I'm sure it'd be fine. This this is a really, really daft idea actually, doing a super long railway line. Uh there we go. When you've got slow trains the money is just gonna dive yep definitely not good old coal bad old coal dj yes oh well our first train has actually made its first delivery and it's turning a profit so at the moment oh look at the reliability reliability is already down to 51 percent Coal seem nice for slow vehicles on long routes, though. That's true. Like, if you look at the cargo payment rates, and we just pop coal back on there, it is it is consistent. That is a very, very good point, Mean Hops. So, we've got slow trains doing long journeys. Well, this one's not doing a long journey, but the next one is. And the payment rate's consistent. Although, if you look at passengers... You have to be 165 days in transit before then it makes more sense to be cold, I think. Yeah, these, these steam trains really hurt. They hurt bad. I mean, the maximum speed is like 50-something. It doesn't even accelerate up to a good speed. 
There we go. But at least it's making some money, and that's the important thing. Bloop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... We're actually going to do passing places. I haven't done passing places in a long time. So behind here, we're going to... We're just going to clone this train. I'm not going to hold control, though. There we go. Train number two. Change the orders and tell it to go from here. And I did hold control then to give it a full load order and get it to come down there. What is the best for short routes on furs? I would, well, as long as you've got fast trains, whatever pays them. Well, it's a man, it's, it's not, a, it's less of how long a route it's more of how fast you're doing it that's what's more important so what we're going to do to save money in this relatively early phase we're just going to add some passing places now it is oh i'm not going to use the old signals we'll go straight into the new signals uh we're going to drive on the left sorry um, is that how we do it? Yeah. I can't remember if that's how we do it with path signals. I think it is. Actually, I don't... I can't remember what parts of the world use left-hand drive for railways and which ones don't. Um, I'll see if I can find out the weekend. If you're making profit, even if it's, a, if it's a pound, it's good. Would a longer train on the longer route be a better option? Uh, sometimes I would say yes to that nudger. But because these trains have so little pulling power. Like, look, the maximum tra traction effort and the power are so small. You get long, long carriages. These things are just never going to get up to speed very quickly. Like, it's, it, it just went up a hill, and it's still accelerating now. So, and you want to keep speed up. Weird Brits driving on the wrong side. No, I'm not driving on the wrong side. Everybody else is. All the Commonwealth countries, yeah. So we've got one train going already. I'm not 100% sure about these signals, because I haven't done... I don't think I ever remember doing pa passing places with path signals before. It's something you used to do in the old days, like before. Oh, that's weird, that. Oh, yeah, it's not weird, actually. The tra they're one-way path signals, so that's fine. Yeah, these, these should work. I could use two engines. That's right, I could items and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's not just about Commonwealth countries, is it? So we've got the next one on its way already. So I think what we'll do is we'll just throw a few more on it. It is a long route. Should we have some guesses about how much this train's going to make? Our first train from the long route, train two. It's got four lots of 30 tons. Which are 120 tons in total. Uh, its reliability is currently 60%, so there's a good chance it might break down before it gets there. So let's let's have a look and see what people think in the chat. How much income, not profit, how much income do you think this train's going to make when it gets there? I mean, the third train is already on its way, but we've got to be careful here. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can only have five trains on this line. So, let's clone that for four trains. Uh, let's see, we've got the uh, 10k. Oh, Brandon changed his, his to five. Egg says 1k? 1k, that's a bit hard. I mean, look at how much train one's bringing in. Less than four, says Nudger. Ooh, right, okay. Uh, we got 10k here from Jan. I, I'm currently thinking it's going to be somewhere in the region of 15k. Bill, 
Bill with a guess of 15k. Wayne goes in at 10. <laughs> Walter, 14,000... Uh, no, sorry, 1,450. Look, that train just made 2k there on that short journey. Okay. K not million. <laughs> yeah, it's going to make 26 million on that first journey, isn't it? <laughs> it might be a little optimistic. I love it. Okay, so we've got plenty of guesses in and the train's coming steaming down the line. Literally. It is nice to start Open TTD with steam trains. Very often, I start a game when I'm playing casually in, like, 1975. And I think by then, you've, you've got the first diesels. And electric's not that far away by 1975. So, yeah... So I, I don't know how many days this has been in transit, but you can get a rough idea of how old it is. It's still zero years old. So it hasn't been in transit a, month, uh, a year yet. But here we go, folks. We're about to find out. It has to do its loading and unloading. You start Desert Games with Monorail. That's crazy. Okay, let's see what we get. 14,568... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm just looking up and down the chat. Me and Bill was closest. Me and Bill was almost spot on with 15,000. <laughs> now, it depends whether we're playing Price is Right rules. If we're playing Price is Right rules, me and Bill went over. But nobody said that in the beginning. Uh, anyway, we've now got a train sat waiting here for the return of that one. Um, money's coming in. Train income's looking good. Yeah, 15k was the closest. I think what we'll do is we'll start planning an extension down here. So this this line is definitely doing well. So I'm going to put a depot in there, and we'll double this one up. It's going to cost us another bridge, because I don't really want to destroy the water, because bulldozing water is going to cost me eight and a half grand. There we go. So in theory, I can get rid of that. Now, we need to set signal spacing. And our stations, our trains are going to be a maximum of six. Which I think means we want a signal spacing of seven. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. So in theory, yeah, look, you get a six-length train between them. Now, we could go crazy and put less in. I mean, like, like a closer gap, but I think I'm happy with that. I think it's good spacing. It'll do. It'll do nicely. Um, oh, my goodness. I've lost the whole network in just a tiny mouse, mouse scroll. We're going to start from here, and that's going to cost us... Yeah, just over a grand to do all those signals up to here. So we're, t we're starting pretty, pretty gently. There we go. So those trains are going to start flowing nicely now. I think this line is earning enough money where we can... Like push more trains onto it and maybe we can start thinking about putting longer trains we've got uh, 711 tons of coal so we've got plenty of coal to shift yep we're playing with the furs mod furs 4 set to steel town um let's let's now look at expanding this bit it's actually 
Because we're in 1926, uh, it's actually costing less to build track because the cost of construction, I believe, increases with time. So we can do that, remove that signal, and then just remove that. There we go, just put signals all the way down here. Yeah, do it all the way to the station, why not? Now, over here at the station, I feel this should be a row row. But how can we do like a really nice row row? And I want to have at least two platforms. So let's temporarily turn off trees. Uh, yep, there we go. So I think if we come in like this, put that there, and come across for a little while, the depots aren't going to be able to be realistic. Not round here anyway. It needs to be way too functional. And if we do length six, length six, length six, then bring that up here like that. Uh, and then I guess oh, this isn't this isn't quite going as I planned. Oh dear. This doesn't seem to be going very well, does it? Uh, what we'll do... Just put signals on the exits here. That should force the train the right way. Then we can remove this depot. Yeah. Imagine if you could turn off trees in real life. Yeah. That'd be good. Okay, the train did actually fix itself and go onto the correct track there. Oh! Oh, I've done left-hand drive. Ah. Um. Oh. <laughs> this is awkward. Uh, I've done left-hand drive trains and I've done a right hand drive station um what do I do I know we'll destroy that bit there we'll make the station just a, a little bit longer with an extra building then we'll remove that bit off the end split it here Put a light going in. Leave a sp uh, leave a space. We'll put signals all the way down the track, and we'll put a double depot here. We could have a we can have a double depot on the exit, I guess. That train will turn round. Then we can connect this back up and everything's fine and we can pretend it we meant to do that or something. I don't know. There we go. Problem. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely a problem. I'm not going to change the side of the ride and I'll just fix the station. That works for me. I mean, ideally, I guess this should be six in length and then go out round and longer. I'm happy with keeping it like this for now and we'll see how it goes. So there we go. We've got a good rotation of the trains going through. Uh, we've got plenty of coal for those trains for now. They can come all the way down this line. We do need to give them some depots, though. And I don't really know how I'm going to do the depots at the minute. I guess we could just do easy e easy depots for now. We'll do some depots here. We'll do um, one set up there. And we're going to do some really nice depots and stuff. We're going to 
play around with some of the best station designs and just really push the concepts of the way that we do some of the things. We are only using one platform over here, but I'm fine with that. How's this train doing? It seems to be coping. What's the ratings like? Medium. Okay, we need two trains here. We're going to have two trains with a little bit of a second line. But then that second line is going to share one platform at either end. Like that. Where's the train? There's the train. There we go. What? Uh, maybe? There we go. Oh, I just realised we still need a depot, so I can put one there. That works. And we can clone this train and just have the two of them running. I think two would do it. By the way, are you playing with maintenance on or have you gotten enough of that? As far as I'm aware, we're back to complete default settings with a couple of exceptions. So, uh, things like maintenance. Is it infrastructure maintenance? I can't remember what it's called now in this in this game. Um, but for 90 degree turns, we're forbidding them. The default is off. We've got that on. Um, acceleration. Oh. Um, where's acceleration? Vehicle acceleration model is set to realistic, which is default anyway. We could send it, set it back to original, but we're not going to change that. I think 90 degree turns is the only thing. Have I turned trams off? We haven't got a mod pack for trams. You don't turn trams on. You need a, a pack for trams. Okay, so we've got two trains going now. Hopefully with these two trains going, we will have um, we will have better ratings. Ratings will go up. Uh, we can get better production if we deliver engineering supplies. So I think maybe that's something that we want to be looking at soon. And over here... Yep, we're doing okay there with this plant. Oh, there's quite a lot there and not a lot transported, so... Hmm, do we make longer trains now? I mean, this is relatively flat, so when they're when they're going top speed, they're going top speed. I mean, there's a bridge there and one incline there. Do we add a few more trucks to it? I think what we'll do is we'll we'll keep it going for now. Because if we look at the vehicles that are coming in and going on this line, they're making decent money. Even though they're quite small. And then we'll upgrade them all completely pretty soon. Martin says, Hi, Mr. Hullish. Thanks for all your videos. You really learned a lot from it. And the game just got better the more you know about it. I agree. It does um, get... Um, it does get better the more you know about it. It showed up when I did ACC? I'm curious now. So I was looking for... I searched for ACC to get acceleration. Infrastructure maintenance. Um... That is weird, isn't it? Oh, because it's under accounting. That's why I searched for ACC, it got accounting, and it showed me everything under accounting. That's why. Is there an easy way to upgrade all of them easily to more cars, or do you have to do each of them manually? I believe you have to do each of them manually, so what we'll be doing is just selling all the trains and buying new ones when there's a better train available. Um, so over here now our ratings should increase. Yep, we're up to 75%. Remember, in most economies you need to keep that above, I think it's 75 or 80%. Um, 
very good very good okay folks well we've got going and we've got our first two railway lines up and rolling it looks like we are turning a half decent profit in our railway and of course we've got lots of different things coming up but i'm just going to nip off and get a drink i will be right back in just a couple of minutes i'll see you soon folks See what the monkeys are like on fast forward. That is some pretty. C oh dear. That was a little bit ridiculous. That, no, it's very ridiculous. I've got loads of chicken on me though. Oh my goodness, right. Come, 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 just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't, they're in my way. Hellish, that's not a good idea. Okay. Was that me? Yes. No, that was lag, I didn't do that. I, I didn't <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Ran out of ammo. It looks like we're having a gun spree, folks. I don't shoot that person. That's a... So, uh, Egg, if you want to stand near the kill chamber, because they're tracking you. If you stand right up against there. Hey. Yeah, looks like they're all filtering in. There is a little bit of... Uh, a little bit on the side. For viewers... Uh, for, the, for the purposes of the viewer, I'm just going to go into spectator mode, and you can see how this is working. Oh, no, I'm picking up your stuff. No, I don't want this. So you can see that they are just climbing up here and getting in. There is a little bit of a downside that when Egg swipes them, they pop upwards. And when they pop upwards, more can't get in. What but if they, they do. Don't swipe? If you don't swipe, they just go. They just climb in. And then they will suffocate. They will eventually, but because it's three blocks wide, you have to get quite a few. But I'm going to switch to the but pistol. I'm going to switch to the pistol now. Okay, folks, I am back, and we are cracking on. Hope everybody's all good. So I think, I don't know what to do about this coal mine, because it's on this massive hill. Maybe some road vehicles might be a better idea. Let me know what you think in the chat about that. But what I'm going to do is we're going to get a shuttle service going from this coal mine down to this hub over here. Now I think what we'll do is we'll have it as a separate set of platforms. We'll start off straight away with two tracks and a platform length of six. And I will put them here. No, is that too, that's too spread out. Why is the station spread in this game? Spread. 12 tiles. That I think is default. I'd like to change that to 15. It just makes it more flexible for bigger stations. Look. All of a sudden, we can now join it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it just it just makes you be able to make bigger and more interesting stations later on. So we're gonna do. Um, are we gonna do terminus? Yeah, we're gonna do a terminus one over here. It's gonna have to have a little bit of a kink in it. Trucks to tra transfer, says James. Hmm. Jackamite says it's hard to get disc gold volume perfect unless you s have split audio channels. Yes. And one of the other things I've noticed with getting disco Discord audio correct is you will get it correct for one person, but then other people will be different. And then as soon as anybody adjusts their microphone volume, then that throws them out and everything all goes a bit a bit wrong so the maximum space station spread on this playthrough is 15 that's what i play with it's one of the set it's one of the few default settings that i actually change so for this one we're going to be doing something a little bit different for the depot i'm going to build like an actual depot sort of thing and i think what we'll do is we'll do something like this because we're going to try and do like a siding 
Uh, we're not going to have two depots. Train can come out here. And what we'll do is we'll also have a second one like this. So we'll have like an in and an out. Um, and that serves this fine. But then how are we going to get trains coming the other way? I've deliberately made this difficult for myself, haven't I? What am I going to do about it? I don't like this. Maybe, hang on, maybe we'll play around with this concept another time. We'll play around with weird depot set, setups or something along those lines later. Let's let's just crack on and get our first little bit of the network up and rolling first. Maybe we can have like a super realistic passenger service somewhere. That would be nice to do. You can manually adjust each person on Discord, yes. Uh, it is a little bit of a nightmare and of course as soon as you adjust somebody's volume get it perfect They move their microphone and become much louder or you know, there's 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 always a change uh, There we go Oops, Steady now the one thing we don't want them to do is to be able to just cross over so let's have a look Yeah, we'll keep that. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, new vehicles. Let's clone one of these trains to give us a starting point. And then I'm going to do it a bit of a lazy way. I'm going to clone it again and move the trucks over. Um, then we'll just ditch it. So, we, this is a short journey and we're going to see how the longer trains handle it. It's a bit of an experiment. So let's delete the orders. Give us a full load over there and an unload. That wants to be a transfer. And then we'll clone it so there's... We won't clone it so there's two of them yet. So we'll see what the acceleration of this train's like compared to a shorter one soon. Yeah, Brandon's just got weird uh, microphone issues. and Really, you need to do something about that, Brandon. Um, yeah, and I think... I think probably one of the things that I need to do is, like, people that are on voice chat with me just need to level their microphone volume according to the levels on, the, on, on my volume mixer. Um, in Streamlabs, and then that's just how we do it. So how many? How much have we got coming over here? We've got medium rating still. Oh, that that is really bad. Okay, uh, we've got enough money for another train. Should I do long ones? Yeah, let's do long ones. So what we're going to do, what are we going to do? If we do it so it can only go in, we can just collect them all. <laughs> uh, I did that the wrong way around. Let's collect them here. There we go. I think we're going to get a lot of trains complaining now. We may just have to suck up the fact that we've got some pretty long trains here. Okay, that's all good. Let's get that train going because these ratings at this station are terrible. They're 43%. They need to be much, much better. No, 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 no. I, I genuinely thought I was building that in the other depot. There we go. Wasn't even connected to the main right line in the way that I thought it was. So in theory, all the other trains coming back, if, if they do try and come back... Was that one? Yeah, that one's got coal in it, so it's fine. 
Uh, they should wait in this depot quite nicely for their turn of the platform. It's that depot is actually a relatively good, lo um, like uh, waiting bay, especially if you like removed that section of track, it would force them into the depot and they could come out and round and they just feed in one by one each time. So that could be quite good. So this is just the way that I'm removing the old vehicles on this line or the way I'm intending on doing it anyway. Right, here you go, look. Hit this train here. Look at the acceleration. Okay, 45. Are we even going to get up? Yep, there's 45, 46, 45, 46. So, so slow. Bill says, what version of the game do you use? Uh, you got your version off Steam. Is there much difference compared to it off the official site? Um, zero. They're, they're the same game. I'm currently playing 1.12, um, yeah, 1.12.1, which came out, I believe, today. There is no difference. The Steam game and the website version, identical. There might be st some stuff in the background, uh, which is to allow it to be deployed or allow it to link to Steam in some way, maybe show play statistics to the developers. I don't know but there is no front-end difference to the game at all. And as far as I'm aware, they're not really planning on anything to be different yet. Right, okay, so you saw how slow that train was accelerating. It, it barely went anywhere. And it's relatively good transfer there. I don't understand why you did that for the depots for the coal mine. Okay, so this is just purely to capture the short trains and i'm going to put i was going to put long trains out there but the, no no we're going we're to change it still we're going to have two engines there we go so we're just going to tell it oh we're just going to tell it to turn around and go to depot this one again we're going to tell it to go to depot Actually, this one will will sort out on the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do clone train, then we're going to merge the train in. Hellish, what are you doing? And we're going to have a two-engine six-length train. I mean, it is going the wrong way. <laughs> um. But don't worry, I'll fix that very soon. I did it so that the trains were forced to go into the depot, but then I didn't think about how I was going to actually do it. Really, what I should do is just when I see a train, just say, oh, go to the depot. And hope that they don't forget their order. It's like this one here. I can, I'll tell that one to go to the depot as well. And then we'll just get a pop-up saying the train's waiting in the depot. Oh, excuse me. Just need to make sure I'm sitting properly. Need to, Guys... Make sure my posture's right all the way through these streams. I'm gonna end. Uh, I I could end up with some problems otherwise. Okay, so let's do this. I've been getting a lot of back and neck ache recently, so we need to make sure that I'm I'm sitting good. Okay, let's send that to depot. Clone that train. Put another engine on it. Did that train that train just went past the depot. See, look, this one here, already, already up to 64 kilometers now. That other one was struggling. We're gonna we're doing it with two engines, people. We're taking the two engine suggestion from earlier, and we're putting it into practice. There we go. We got a cargo ship. Right, you. What depot are you trying to go to? Whatever whatever depot it is. Start doing it right. You you need to go to a depot as well. And then what we can do is just check all the trains on this list. And just go, oh, which ones of these need to go to the depot? Like you, you need to go to depot. And you need to go to depot. And then train 5 has stopped at depot and we can fix it. Train 11 is that train that keeps getting created. And never makes it. There we go. Train 
train six has gone into its depot. So I was I wasn't sure about the long trains because the steam engines are not powerful enough, but doing it like this is is better. We'll have better flow on the network, we'll have better deliveries. Two engines, yeah, two engines. It, it has its time in its place. We've only got one train on the network now that hasn't got two engines. It's this one. So as soon as this one gets to a depot, we'll sort it out. Imagine if that's how they build the wagons IRL in real life. Building the whole train. Yeah, it's just like, ah, we need a new wagon. Let's build an entire train and then just recycle the rest. Isn't it just easier to delete them and clone the ones off you already have? Uh, it, it would cost a bit more. Uh, it might be easier. I mean, the ones that I'm creating from the clone, I can sell the bits of that because they haven't been ran and I get almost exactly the right amount of money back again. So there we go. We, we now have a full service running with two engines. This one has got such a short distance to go I don't think I'm going to bother, but we are going to put a second train. There we go. So one of the things we should be considering is, do we want to take this, uh, the coal that's been supplied at this coke oven and actually take the coke somewhere? So we could start looking at that. But this is all about like making a financially successful business to start these ones here I'm not a hundred percent sure about this they're making good money like that they're, they're 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 in profit they're worth having but could we be making more profit I don't know and we're definitely gonna need more trains because now we've got this service coming in here from uh, Banwell I don't know why that says colliery Let's change the name of that. Uh, coal mine. Banwell Coal Mine. And what was this one called? Is that what they call a, col uh, a coal mine? A colliery? Is that another name for it or something? Because both stations seems to have done it. Okay, well let's rename it anyway. Uh, there we go. What is that? Um, Plingding... Plingdington. Plingdington. There we go. Uh, taking coke somewhere would work when it makes more of it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, this, this line is certainly looking better now so look this train just arrived what's its income now 34,000 which is more than double of the other one but that makes sense because the other one was only four carriages this one's like nine ten carriages um, we are making lots of coke and tar and I think, didn't the chat say that we should think about road vehicles for this one up here? Bring it down there? Is that what we said? I feel like this sort of length is the sort of thing that should be done with road vehicles anyway. Martin says, uh, hi again from Denmark. Uh, can't you make a detailed video about playing TTD online someday? We are few here who tried it, but we were obviously too dumb. Um, I have a dedicated video in my tutorial series about um, playing open TTD multiplayer. And um, there's also a how-to video if you want to do... Is it multiplayer or a, ded a dedicated server? A colliery means coal mine. Okay, Bill. Cool. I didn't know that. Um, but, um, they, no, they've already had the multiplayer stuff before, Brandon. Be careful what random things you spout. Um, but there is a new feature which makes it easier for you to play multiplayer with other people now. 
Um, will Steam let me relaunch it? No. We should definitely save this, though. Uh, live Let's Plays. Live Let's Play Season 9. Epi I always call it episode, even though it's stream. Don't know whether that's consistency or what. So yeah, there's there's uh, there's the multiplayer tutorials out there, so check it out. Um, I am going to add comments on that video about the new feature. Um, let's have a quick look. Let's just double check I saved it. Unnamed? Why is the two transport companies? I don't know what happened there, but never mind. Um, let's just nip in and go multiplayer, start server. Um, you can set a password. You can set visibility to invite only. And then uh, you can send out the invite. I don't know how the invite only stuff works, but it's new. Basically before it used to be local. Uh, was it private or public? And then now they've added this invite only stuff. So I'm going to look into that, make sure I know everything about it. And then I'll add notes on the video. I may even remove the, the multiplayer video and add it in. Let's just see what happens if we do that anyway. Start new game. Generate. Okay. Oh, here you go. So it's invite only. It gives you an invite code. And it gives you um, um, information about how to join. You can even change the visibility. You can change your name and edit it right there and then. That's a new feature as well. Um, it's nothing to do with Steam, Alex. Um, the integrations here is nothing to do with Steam, friends. Um, not even quite, Brandon. Nothing to do with Steam. Forget it's on Steam. Nothing to do with Steam. The only thing that it has to do with Steam is, is you can launch the game and it automatically updates. Invite only. You get that invite code. Then you go to uh, multiplayer. And then you go uh, add server. Oh, no, it's add server. Search internet. You should have like a uh, place where you can put the invite code in. I don't know. Not, not sure, actually. But yeah. I don't know if you do it online or what. Multiplayer. Search string. You have to do, Oh, do you have to search for it and then use the invite code? Right, I see. And then, Anyway, that's how it works. I'll get a video put together probably about it. Let's carry on with us. Add server had invite code. What? Let's have a look. I want to see that. Multiplayer, add server. Oh, yeah, and add, uh, enter server address or invite code. So if you type an invite code in, that looks it up on the open TTD servers, and then that just sends you straight in. So there you go, folks. I'll, I'll update my videos with that information in. I'll update my tutorials soon. Obviously not in the next few days, because I'm going to be... Um, there's a dummy AI. Okay, I have no idea why there's the AI scripts in there, but never mind. Yeah, so you put you put them in there, and it's nothing to do with Steam, nothing to do with Steam and Steam Friends at all. There is zero Steam integration right now with OpenTTD, and there may not be for a long time. Okay, I feel like we need another platform here because we've got way too many trains waiting. Um, once this trains out the way, I will uh, hook it up. Probably will actually want to use that platform, knowing it. There we go. Now, let's see. Yeah, so that's it is a neat feature. Now, just to clarify, the reason for the invite code is the 
is that it allows the OpenTTD servers to know who you are and where you are and it also allows the person wanting to connect who they are and it does the kind of network meshing for you so you don't have to do port forwarding. So if you're trying to run your own multiplayer game and it's not working, 90% of the time or more it's because you're not doing port forwarding correctly or firewalls using the invite code gets around that using the OpenTTD servers. Uh, let's hope that it there is never Steam integration and the big corp leaves the game alone. I will see. Yeah, you don't have to use the Steam version. Uh, right, okay, so we've got extra platforms down here at uh, Drenningworth Woods. We're going to have to rename that. It's Dre Drenningworth Oven. Oh, I put an A. <laughs> I did rename it, but we've got a typo in there. Let's just get... Oh, I did it again. What's wrong with my little... Oh, look, I put an M there now. Ugh. Right, there we go. There we go. It's all right now. Yeah. It's only on... St Brandon says it's only on Steam to add visibility. That's not 100% true. Um, it does make it easier to, uh, to to manage updates for the game and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter how much sales they're going to take from a game which is free, Brandon. The, the, it is... It, Steam doesn't take 33%. That is wrong. I've spoken to developers about this before, and that's not correct. Um, okay, so we've got a, a coal mine down here with a feeder coal mine, which seems to be doing very well, actually. We may need another train there. 70% transported. I feel we're at the point now where we can start looking at supplying these two coal mines with, like, engineering supplies or something. Just to really start pumping things up. Uh, did we get... Yeah, we have got plenty of depots. <laughs> yeah, and whatever percent it is, Alex is right. Whatever percent of that it is, zero is still zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at trying to get some engineering supplies so we can go to the industry directory. No, not the industry directory. The industry button and go down to um, industry chains. And then we can select engineering supplies. And we can see what it comes from. So they come from assembly plants, wharfs, uh, wire and section mill, uh, sheet and pipe mill. Is that where it comes from? It goes to it, yeah. No, this is all stuff it goes in. Oh, producing industries on the left, yes. So I think a wharf, isn't, isn't that somebody off Star Trek? Um, all jokes aside. All terrible jokes aside. There, yeah, there are some wharfs around. Uh, unfortunately, there's no wharf anywhere near us. We would have to do a pretty big boat route. I mean, there is a wharf over here. So we could definitely supply that one with some engineering supplies. It's already producing 162 crates of engineering supplies last month. Boats. Oh, I'm not sure about that. There'd be water. Yeah, there is water. You want me to boat the supplies from here all the way down to these two? That seems like a terrible idea. I'm sorry, but it does. Let's pay off our loan. There we go. Stream one, and we've already paid our loan off. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Boats do kind of suck, yeah. Boats, boats can be useful. I don't know. 
I really want to get this together as a road network now. I, I want to supply these two coal mines. Thing is, though, right, and this is the problem. If I supply this coal mine with enough crates of engineering supplies, production will go gung-ho, which means we'll have even more coal to transport, and we'll just have so many road vehicles trying to transport that it just you'll just have tons of them where you can just have a couple of trains and everything be hunky and dory so yeah i i like a few boats in situations that really call out for it i think we are going to start oh we can't do road construction of course we can't do road construction yet there's no available vehicles so there is ships or i should say there are ships but we've only got ships and trains we might have to train it over i mean i don't even have an option about how i'm going to get this up from up here down there i have to use railway or wait and brandon's like what the first train invented before the car Road vehicles aren't that awful. They're good for short, low quantity things. Um, let's just see how our existing stuff's going on. So over here, we're keeping on top of things. Ratings are pretty good. I feel like that's like just doing really well as is. Over here at this coal mine, ratings are terrible. We need more trains. Let's clone this one. 31,000, is that all? Let's clone another one. We're going cra train crazy. Um, and we're dropping off okay. This needs to be a dual track station. Especially if we're starting to do things like talk about engineering supplies and things like that. Oh, I thought a train was going down there for a minute then. I thought they were going to collide. I really did. Um, I guess we're going to have to use rail. Yeah, we're going to use rail. And if we're going to use rail, then that means that these platforms are going to get busier. What am I doing? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, no. Oh, of course I reloaded the game, didn't I? There we go. It's a nice little fixeroo there. Steam engines were a lot easier to build than internal combustion engines. I, I would agree with that. Like, if somebody said to me, okay, I'll give you a load of scrap and I will teach you how to weld, now make a steam engine or a combustion engine. And I'm like, I know which one I would build. Uh, hands down. No worries. Okay, so number of tracks. We're going to do a length three train network for this one. Um... We're going to start it here. And we're going to have them as row rows. And don't ask me why. Because I haven't thought of the reason yet. Three length is on purpose though. Okay. We're going to have a double not force depot going in. And we'll have a double not forced depot coming out. Put the signals on the exit of the row row, one on the entrance, and that looks good. And then I'm going to have one drop off track over here. <sighs> I 
I think for neatness I'm going to make it one station. We can look at how that looks more beautiful later. So we'll come down here. We'll do a diagonal. We'll hit that in there like that. We'll follow the diagonal. And then we'll loop it in like that for now. There we go. That's the wrong way round. I've built all this station the wrong way round again. Well, at least this one's easy to fix. All we need to do is put a long bit on the exit. Loop it in like that. These signals don't want to be here. We can probably shorten that. There we go. That'll do. Okay, let's get these engineering trains up and going. So we'll just get uh, engineer. We'll go engines only. We've only got one engine. And we want also engineering supplies, which is going to come in a goods van, which we buy and refit. And for now, we're going to have it... A well, how much can you fit? It fits 25 crates of engineering supplies, and we need to deliver uh, 80 in a month. So I think if we have four vans, that's 100. So if we get one train a month... Then we're pretty good. Now the train's got no orders. So we're going to try and quickly give it full load there before it gets there. Yep, that worked fine. And then we'll just tell it to go up here and unload. It'll be fine. Uh, have you been to the Great Dorset Steam Fair? I haven't, Bill. I have, I have not. There were steam cars. Yes, there were steam cars. First railway was 1804, whereas the first automobile was 1885? Wow, that is a big difference in um, time between the two inventions. The problem is that the steam engine for a railway engine is much larger, therefore it's easier to make, yeah? Miniaturization is difficult. It is. Also, the petroleum industry didn't exist. Yeah, there is there is all that and stuff. Early computers were massive. Yep, yeah, early lots of things are massive. Okay, so our first train is currently full of engineering supplies. We will clone it so that there is two of them. And we'll see if we can get these running gung-ho. Really not sure about this coal mine on the hill right now. Because I'm not using boats to go up that hill. Mark my words. I am definitely not using boats. Okay. Um, it's all looking good. I hope you guys are good. We're going to do a game giveaway. Um, asking why the steam car is later than a steam railway is like asking why the smartphone was after the personal computer. That is a very good analogy. I like that. I like that a lot. So um, I'm just going to quickly check up here to see this, what the situation is. We've still got quite a lot waiting there. Our ratings are still not very good at all. I'm just going to have to throw more trains at it. What's our operating profit like? Getting good. Is there AI in this game? And that's why we've got a problem here. Settings. Limitations, networks, competitors. Easy. Um, com computer players. I haven't had to look at this set in, in years. Competitors. Default settings. 
Uh, I can't actually see the setting for that. But it does appear to be adding competitors every two years or so. If disabling is off, it's enabled, right? I mean... I mean, there's... Oh, there we are. Maximum number of competitors. Zero. That'll, that'll help. It's not supposed to have competitors. I'm going to have to use commands to clear those companies. Competitors. Allowing multiply off. Yeah. Okay, that should stop new ones from coming into the game. And I will clear them between or something like that. Yeah, that's that, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's see if we can remember the command. Uh, is there a list? No. Uh, let's go, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now because people might be interested in this. So, uh, open TTD console command. Right, okay, so we want to get like a client list. Uh, it sh it, the problem with clients is that's for multiplayer. So we kind of want a companies list. Um, which is interesting because I'm not seeing that. You can do reset company ID. Apparently that's only for multiplayer though. Um, that's weird. Maybe, maybe I need to open this as a multiplayer game, remove them and take them back. Hang a minute. Yeah, they're here. So, I, because I'm, I don't know. Reset company, companies list if you have the toolbar. No. It's multiplayer only, but I've ended up with companies in here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I will fix it. I will, I will fix that. I'm going to give it another save. For some reason, my save didn't save how I thought it was going to save. So this is season 9, episode 1 still. Yeah, there we go. Load... No, not load. Abandon. Right, we're going to abandon for a second. We're going to go scenario, e scenario editor. Load. Scenario. Can I... Will it... Let's... Should we see if we can break this? So I'm going into my documents folder. I'm going to the open TTD folder, going into the save folder, going into my live let's plays folder, and I'm going to copy that save and change the extension to .scn for scenario. Stop AI is the command for single player. Oh what? That's not quite as fun. Um, if we go parent directory and then back into save. 
it should be in there. Live Let's Plays. There it is, Series 9, Episode 1. We can load that. Pause it. Uh, I don't know if I can then edit the, the plays that are in there. Town Directory. We can do whatever we want. It probably do what we need to do. How many how many hard drives does one man need? I've got lots of drives. Okay, let's let's try the stop AI command. Oh, that just stops it for a particular company. All right, then let's let's just clear random companies. See what happens. Uh, where is it gone? Um, res reset company? Maybe it might let me do the company list if uh, we're in this uh, scenario editor. So you can do companies. Yes, look, that's working now. Now we know the unnamed is two and three. Stop AI deletes the company as well. Okay. So we still needed to know the company ID though. DP. So they, we can do stop AI two. AI's, AI's, AI's can only be managed in game. All right, let's clear the company then. It's weird that the clear company command is actually the delete company. Only available on a, to a network server. Okay. Okay, so we want to delete two and three. Okay, let's quit scenario editor. Load the game. Get rid of that message because it doesn't matter. Pause and then we can do stop AI2. Company delete is stop AA3. There we go. We've deleted the unwanted AIs and we still have our company. Uh, you say you have two or three hard drives in your PC divided into five partitions. Um, I have... I've got two hard drives which are linked together to form a parody drive. I've got two NVMe storage drives, or is it one? I'm not sure. And then a couple of SSDs for various things, including streaming and stuff. There we go. We can carry on with the game now. We did it between us. Teamwork. Bankrupt. And Nate Company was closed. Yes, I did that. <laughs> there we go. Now, one thing that that highlighted to me is we haven't named the company yet. So what I'll do is I'll leave that choice down to you, the viewers. So shout out in chat, company names, and um, if I like any of them, I will use them. If I don't like them, I'll call it Hellish Inc. There we go, Master Hellish. We're going to stay red, and we're going to we're going to try and find a, a face that looks like potentially me in. A few years time so probably no hair too much hair in that picture um, I'm, I think that's what I'm gonna look like in a few years time except the eyes are the wrong color so let's go advanced and just change the eyes there we go Piffleworth Transport. In tra in <laughs> Fed Up Express. Oh, I like that. Master Hellish Industrial Concerns. Interesting. Uh, you just have one M2 drive. And all your storage sits on it. Yeah. So I have a server as well. And it's it's down in the corner of the room. And that does everything we need. So it acts as an ass. I th I think Fed Up Express is is probably the best one so far. Trains R Us is good, but we're going to be using more than just trains in this Let's Play. And we still got oh the ratings are now going up. I, 
I feel like we do need another train though. Eh, there we go. Let's throw another train at it. Yeah, I, I mean, need to. Uh, maybe I should share how I've done this before. I mean, it's I've the the drives in the server are a parody raid as well, so one of them can be taken out, and the whole thing should be fine. I need more drink. Okay, folks. Um, I'm going to start the game giveaway, and I'm going to get myself a drink because my voice is going. Um. Remember, you can only take part in the giveaway if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, follow the instructions in the chat to take part. If you win and you're on watching on YouTube, you'll need to come over to my Discord to claim your prize as we can't give it to you directly. Uh, so if you have the option of entering via YouTube or Twitch, choose Twitch as we can send it to you um, directly in the chat there. So uh, we're going to start a game giveaway and the prize is for a game called Hugh. And whilst that game giveaway gets underway, I'm going to get myself another drink and I will see you all in a couple of minutes. But I'm going to switch to the pistol now. Oh my goodness, it's right behind me. It's got beer. Oh my goodness. Oh, all the zombies are here now. Oh, this was probably not a good idea. Right, here we go. Oh no, oh no, I'm nearly dead. Okay. I did deal with the zombies that were. Pop, plop, drop. There we go. There we go, half. No, nah, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Here we go again. It's like Groundhog Day or something. Hey, hey, some oh, of the guys. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys back at base. Uh, guys, maybe they want some help, I don't know. Yeah, they, uh, they look at uh, like yeah, they're yeah, in trouble. All the to us. God, there's a lot of blood flying out when people hit them. Uh, is it? Oh! <laughs> I'm looking at my screen, maybe, but... You need water? We... we... Yes, we do. Okay. I've got it. Cool. I don't like that the bonnet's a different colour. Brandon's been shot. Another Timberwolf has died. Oh my goodness, this isn't going well. Another Timberwolf has died. It's the Scythers. Oh, they're really mincing the walls. This is not good. Okay. Uh, now help out. Shoot the scythers. Brandon's dead. Everybody, Brandon has died. This is not good. Not good. Oh, there's another. There's another one up there. I've got loads of chicken on me, though. I've got loads of chicken on me, though. Okay, folks, I am back. Um, we've got a few clips in there. Some of the ones were from my recent DayZ stream with the Viewer Plus subscribers. We started a brand new server recently. It was just a couple of one-off streams. We've also had a little bit of Minecraft in there and, and uh, a bit of RimWorld. I do a little all sorts of streaming at the moment. And, of course, we're going to have a, probably quite a big variety of different games and streams and random things happening over the weekend. So make sure you've got your either your Twitch, no Twitch notifications turned on or you're watching the Discord closely for announcements. Um, but here we go. <laughs> Good evening, finally. The real deal of gaming. Yes, indeed. So we're going to carry on here. We've actually paid off our loan and made our first half a million, which is absolutely fantastic. Why I started off with this small line here, I have no idea. Uh, but production is now gung-ho here, and it's uh, we're, gonna, we're not coping. So we're going to clone this train, and we're going to get... Uh, we're going to clone this train. There we go. And we're going to get a few of those bigger trains coming in. So delete the orders. Full load here. Unload there. And I think three of those trains might be appropriate. Uh, these ones, we're just going to send them to the depot and decommission them. So we've been having suggestions for... Um, 
the name of the company and my top two so far uh there's been some good ones there's been there's definitely been some good ones um but i think my favorite one so far is fed up express and hellish haulers so yeah i think we should do a poll yeah jack and mac if one of you wants if one of the uh moderators wants to set up a poll for fed up express hellish haulers and a couple of the other suggestions i mean hellish and son would work if i maybe hellish and daughter because i don't have a son um and trains are uh trains are us maybe pop that in there as well so throw a throw a poll together um there is a poll system Sh shall i do it shall i do it i'll do it name i will just do it very easily i, I didn't see any um I didn't see any, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Any moderator, that was the word I'm looking for, saying that they were going to do it or they were in the process of doing it. So let's put trains are us, command trains, and fed up express, we'll have that one in there as well. Command will be fed up. Um, oh, hang on. The vote is on Twitch now. No, don't use the Twitch vote in Jack. Oh. We, we actually have a poll system in our bot so everybody on all the platforms watching can vote together. Never mind. This one's just going to be a Twitch vote today. I don't even I don't even know if I can see that. No, I don't have visibility on that from from my screens. Because I've never I've never set up my Twitch um, dashboard to include them, to include polls because we have one in the bot. Yeah, Twitch vote only I'm afraid everybody. How how many viewers we've got viewing from different um, platforms? Let's have a look. Why is it not on here? The widgets aren't even on screen. There we go. So most people are watching on YouTube, but unfortunately we can't do it this time. We've, we've jumped the gun, so to speak. And uh, let's... Okay. They can vote by going to Twitch. That's true. They can do. Right, so we've got trains dropping off um, the supplies. This has gone gung-ho. These trains are all switching around and loading and stuff. That's actually working quite nicely. This train we want to decommission. I forgot about that. So let's send that to the depot. Train 7, it did well. Now we won't redo. Egg put the link for people to go and vote. So keep it going. There's a, there's a link. Um, I will repost that link to all platforms you can go there and vote we're not gonna we'll do it before the end of the stream we'll, that'll be like one of the last thing we'll do yeah jack this is this is why i use the poll system for the bot because it just there we go four a piece trainee mctrain phase we're not naming a train we're naming the company Okay, let's see how things are getting along. So surely money should be going up for these trains. Oh, yes, it is. Money is going up for these trains. Uh, ratings. Ratings is excellent. 80%. Fantastic. What's the ratings over here? Only 67. Hmm. Okay. And what are our ratings over here? 67% very good. Okay, so it could be better. Ideally, we, what we'd want to do is build a statue of the company owner. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to cost us some money. But I feel it's worth investing. So if we build a statue of the company owner, 
and the ratings at this station are currently 80%. Hopefully those ratings should start going up now we've got a statue. Look, 81? Is that going to go up to like 90? It'd be fantastic if it did. Yeah, 82. It looks like that statue's 83. Statue's doing a good job. Statue's doing a good job there. What's the ratings like here? Very good 67. We definitely need another train. Two trains on this line is just not enough. In fact, I'm probably thinking we're actually going to need a fourth train. Um, because once the ratings go up, that means we get a bigger share of the amount of coal that's been um, maneuvered, maneuvered, produced. I don't know. I mean, pretty soon we could probably save up and actually purchase our own wharf. How much would a wharf cost? Let's find out. Okay, 2.2 million. Maybe not just yet. Vote is undecided. Did the vote end? It was 50-50. Yeah, let's do the proper poll system. Yes, use let's use the proper cloud bot. Come on, there's there's plenty of people watching. We'll we'll re-poll this, guys. So moderators, remember, if we ever do a poll, do not use the Twitch poll system. Use the actual poll system for the the bot that we use on on this channel. Uh, if anybody wants help with that, uh, it, it is straightforward, and I'm sure at least three of you have the access to do it. So to summarise for anybody uh, who has only just uh, come along uh, to the stream or maybe you wasn't here at the beginning, uh, I'm going to just give a quick overview. So uh, we started up the stream and I explained what we were going to be doing. I realised that we were in 1.12 but 1.12.1 had been released whilst I had the game open. So we restarted the game, um, updated it, and got the game up and running. We made sure we got the latest version of Furs 4 installed, and we changed the settings so that we were playing Steel Town environment. Or uh, is it a corner environment? Uh, let's just double check the word they use for that. Uh, economy, sorry, not environment, economy. We're playing the Steel Town economy inside Furs. And once that was all sorted, we got a game launched, realised there's way too many industries, tweaked the settings, and off we went. We started in 1925. It's been five years. We've only got one train, but we've got a few lines up and rolling. You'd love to learn how to do that at some point. Well, we are actually... We do have a position open for another moderator, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. And uh, we've we've got a few lines up and running. We've got a we've got a company going. In the first five years, we've managed to get an operating profit, which not only has got off the floor but has become more stable, and it's looking pretty nice for a beginning. Now, in this version, um, cargo payment rates for coal is not great. I'm going to be honest. For coal, it looks good until you add something like passengers or food or let's get something else to compare it to. Like vehicles? It's like the top thing that you want to be transporting right now is probably food. Uh, engineering supplies is also up there. Farm supplies is also up there. Yeah, a lot of things are up there high on the list. Maybe food is the next thing that we need to look at. Where, where does food come into this whole thing? Like, uh, can we do... F yeah, food. So food... Uh, is produced by a farm. It's taken to a general store or bulk terminal. So... Just checking here... Yeah, there's a general store, but it doesn't show where the food goes. Oh, towns. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm looking at the diagram. And by the way, if you want to look at the diagram for how the industries work in this mod, uh, I've just posted a link. 
uh, it takes you to the uh, website for first four and to the steel town environment okay so let's uh, let's have a look at what the polls like Have we started the poll we haven't started the poll yet okay I'll keep an eye out for that uh, and the bulk terminal makes supplies of one kind or another yeah the so the bulk terminal over oh sorry no the, the wharf is creating the engineering supplies for what we need eggs working on it okay um oh yeah overall it's running quite well we've still got this one going at gung ho i guess we yeah we've got a bit of a backlog of engineering supplies so i'm now kind of thinking we need a service up here um i'm not really sure how a coal service up this level of hillside would be a good thing though but we've only really got one of uh, well you could put a boat up there but that would just cost way too much money we're gonna have to put a slow steam train up it's the only thing i can really logistically think of right now let oh hang on the poles the poles up the poll for the company name is up, so just follow the commands in chat. Remember, you have to do exclamation mark vote at the beginning to... That's it. Uh, uh, to be able to vote for that, I can see we've got a couple of different ones coming in. Oh, the votes are all fighting over that. The votes are all fighting. Okay, we're going to try and do it. So let's start with two tracks. I think what we'll do is we'll do four length trains with two engines because of the hills so let's just get a starting base sort of thing and I think what we'll do is we'll do it as a, as a singular straight line down with a really sharp corner at the bottom so it's going like a hundred mile an hour when it gets to the bottom <laughs> and then it's got to go around this tiny little corner there. And then I guess we'll come this way a little bit. Around a corner so we get round Durwood. No, we need to go further. We need to go further. We haven't gone far enough. That should do it. Just a great big square. Which is obviously not a good way of doing it. Um... And we'll have just one drop-off station. Oh no, they hate me. The local authority hate me. Don't worry. We can just plant some trees. And let's see what the local authority thinks of us now. They think we're good. Fantastic. Okay, let's put a, a set of platforms in here. Connect it up. And that should do it, actually. Yeah, so th so I think... I don't know if you can vote on Facebook or on Steam. Um, but you can definitely vote on Twitch and YouTube for this one. And I can see we've already had 14 votes. So that's really good. We're voting on the company name here. Let's get you involved. Let's find out what you guys want to call this company. I just realized the exit's wrong here. Uh, there isn't room for the signals. We have to have signals at the end of a row row. Uh, yeah, it's going to make that bit just a little bit more difficult, isn't it? There we go. It's a good job we've got about half a million in the bank account. Right, signals on there, signals all the way down there, and we're going to clone the double train, but have it shorter, like this. So hopefully that will make its way up and down okay. Um, 
is there not uh, is there a way for non mods to see the progression of the poll? I don't think there is actually. I'm not sure. <laughs> Jack says no one cares about Facebook or Steam. Ah, they're not our primary. It's it's not that I don't like Facebook or Steam. It's like my my focus is on Twitch and YouTube. Um, so in theory, I should be able to just go full load here, then unload there. Get at least three of them going. There we go. And if I haven't got anything wrong, two should load up into the station and it would be all right. Three engines. No, not three engines. We... We're going with two engines and a shorter train, and that should be okay. What is the poll at right now? There's 14 votes. I'll tell you there's been 14 votes on the poll. And there is currently a first, second, and third. I'm not gonna say who's winning just yet. I'm not gonna say who's winning. I'm going to I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it keep it stum. Um Yeah, I, I don't think I actually get anything from the stops. I need to transfer? Do I need to transfer? I do need to transfer. Thank you very much, Stefan. Is it Stefan? Stephen? Sorry, my my wordiness is not the great. I need that on a t-shirt. Sorry, my wordiness is not good. No, not good is not the great. Yes. Sorry, my wordiness is not the great. That's what we need on a t-shirt for me. <laughs> yeah, we get the results at the end. Yeah, a viewer plus sub is so much better. So basically, folks, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is through viewer plus. You can head out to my website, masterhellish.net, and it'll tell you all about viewer plus. But the short version of the story is, it's just like Patreon, except it's not, and it comes directly to me with no middleman. It's my own service, which I run on my website, and uh, all the uh, money and all of that sort of stuff, and the payments, all, all handled securely via PayPal, so you know you can trust that. And then, yeah, it's um, you get some benefits. You get to hang out in the Viewer Plus Discord, access to our Minecraft server, Daisy, and all the sort of stuff that's going on. Of course, you get extra hellish points in the streams, and we do extra giveaways every month. Um, and when I'm doing my um, the, my streams, I put your names in the game and things like that. So maybe maybe we'll have some trains named after Viewer Plus subscribers. That'd be quite good as well. So the first train is off and away. We're going to find out how much money it gets on its transfer. I just saw that the last signal is there. Really... That's the better place for the last signal. And we'll see how quickly it's... I need to get posture. Posture. There we go. We'll see how quickly that can then come up the hill afterwards. So it's pulled in. It's going to do its transfer. And I reckon it may it may get like five grand. Six and a half... Six, just over six grand. Okay, so what's the acceleration going to be like coming up the hill? It's managed to get to maximum speed before it gets to the first bump. Went down a little bit, but again, pulled up to max speed. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Okay. It's a little bit down here. Yeah, oh, oh, the speed's dropping there. But not massively. It, it was significant. But the train has still got some pace. Okay, two engines, good enough. Uh, trains named after viewer plus subscribers sound fun uh, we could have routes named after sub you know what routes named after subscribers it's like patreon but good no paid i don't know if patreon's a good or bad service but as far as i'm concerned like if you want to support me that means you want to support me you don't want to support some middleman as well um okay yeah i think we should name some of the lines like the uh, in the future after viewer plus subscribers in this series. It's a fantastic idea. We'll definitely do it Car uphill is much slower. That is true So we've got the next train coming in here already. So the next thing we want to do now is deliver the engineering supplies Whoa, hello mouse. Is there something to do with mouse acceleration in the settings? 
Mouser, mouse. Scroll, pan window when mouse is at the edge disabled. Zoom, map scroll wheel speed, five. Nope. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. There definitely needs to be something in the game to help with the scrolling. I'm sure they changed it. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. I might even go back a few versions just to just to find out when it was changed, if I'm right or not. So we're going to do another set of pickup. And we're going to have to get this one up the hill. But because these trains are quite short, I'm not going to put... I don't think I'm going to put two engines on them. I think they'll be okay. So this one comes down. I think we'll reuse that. We are. We're going to reuse that. Uh, which means this is a junction, so we pop a signal in there. And then we need to come up, and I guess if we're reusing that, we need to have a drop-off station. Uh, one track, platform length three, like here or there. But then we also need a gap so that we can have signals in. Hmm. I've not done it like that before. That That's interesting. I like to do different things. Regular viewers will know that I often try and things and it doesn't always work out. There we go. Now, if you want to play games with me, uh, you can wait until we do one of the viewer games. Or another option is to get involved with one of the games that we're playing at the moment. Now, with the Viewer Plus subscribers, we're playing uh, DayZ, Minecraft, and... Well, we've got Space Engineers up on the go as well at the moment. But uh, even if you're not Viewer Plus, you could come along and uh, get involved with uh, EVE Online. Uh, you can try EVE Online for free. It costs you absolutely nothing to give it a go with us. And uh, if you want to know how to do that and to come and actually join in with me and the rest of the corp, the clan, then uh, the instructions are on the website. There's a look at the go to the website. There's a page EVE Online. Uh, I don't think we've got a chat command for it, but just go to the website. You'll find it. If you can't find the page about how to play EVE Online on the website, then don't bother trying to play EVE Online. Let's let's leave it there. <laughs> okay, so we are uploading. Uh, uploading is that? That's the wrong words. Also, we need to change this to Finwood Wharf, not Woods. Uh, Wharf. There we go. Right then, let's have a look. We need a, we need a wizard. Brandon is lost. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Harris, you're putting the exit on the right side again. <laughs> the wrong side for you. I think I did it okay here. I mean, these are just loop lines. It doesn't matter. These trains can go in any direction I want them to. Um... But we're still going a ho over here. Now we've got two trains loading. They're sharing the supplies between them, I think. So you'll have one platform go, then the other platform go. then And, and because they're alternating platforms, it should split the supplies quite nicely. It's the principle of the thing. I mean, this is probably temporary anyway. We'll find a better solution for coming all the way up this hill. I think. Let's see how the other lines are doing. So, trains that are coming over here. The ratings at the station is excellent 81%, which is really good. And over here at the coal mine, the ratings are 74. 
which is okay. We're going to need a couple more trains, I think. How much are we producing? 242 uh, 40 odd tons. Ah, uh, yes, but we're also transporting that one over there as well. Fantastic. Okay, looking good. Looking very good. Hmm. Right then, so let's check on the status of that game giveaway. Ah, yes, okay. So we've had people enter the giveaway. The given giveaway is now closed, and we're going to uh, pick the winner. And the winner of the game giveaway for Hugh is... Roblox Play Beta. Congratulations. You're watching on Twitch, so I'll just jump over to Twitch now, and I will send you your prize. And then we'll check out some more trains. So let me just go over to Twitch. Shout out in chat so that you can claim your prize. Um, I'm seeing the notification from the bot saying you won, but I don't actually see you in chat. So hopefully you are still there. Um, not seeing, yeah, you're going to have to, they're not watching. <laughs> okay. Um, I might be able to find them in chat and just whisper it over to them. Let me see if I can find them. Shouldn't take long. How far back can I go? Not far back enough. Okay. So it might be that we need to pick a new winner if that prize is not claimed soon. Okay, so it looks like everything's going nicely down here. Um, this one should be gung-ho. Yeah, current production is gung-ho. So we're probably going to need more trains, aren't we? Let's put another three trains on that. You can see the viewers in the Twitch chat. Yeah, you keep forgetting, Brandon. I I don't use the Twitch chat, chat to read the chat. I use the restream chat because I can see all the different chats. Um, and I have to specifically turn away from my screens and go and look at that chat to be able to find that information out. So there we go, folks. Successful company. We've Oh, we're just about to make our first million in the bank. We're just about to be millionaires. Operating profit has been on the rise since the beginning. We've been playing now for nearly, I was going to say nearly 10 years. It's, it's not quite that much. It's about eight years. Uh, profit is so nice. It's coming out so smooth. I really, really, really want to get engineering supplies to these two, though. Um, but I don't think we can easily. I don't want sand. Okay, so for engineering supplies, we need an assembly plan or a wharf, sheet and pipe mill, wire section mill. I think wharf is the only primary industry, and as far as I can tell, there's still no wharfs around here. So where's wharfs? Uh, there. So we're up at this part of the network. That is definitely the closest wharf. Oh, I don't know. Uh, no, we don't have a company name just yet. We're going to pick the company name at the end of the live stream. So at the end of the first stream, we will have the company name. I think the vote is the poll is still ongoing. Um, I mean, we could save up the money required to build one down here. I think that could be a good idea. What other coal mines are nearby? Oh, there's a new one. Here. 405 tons. Nice. Okay. Let's get this one involved. Coal mine in the way. I'll give you coal mine in the way. Yeah, it's very much so in the way. There we go. Um, boop, boop, blop. Uh, 
Uh, oh no, there's a scrapyard in the way. It's all right, we'll do that. Now these depots want to be removed. Is there a train in there? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe that depot can stay where it is. Um, what we need is to put a depot before the split. So there. Uh, and then we'll do a depot. We just won't put any depots at that station. We'll just do it before the split. Put one there. Still a train in there? Why? Oh, it's one of the old ones. Let me get rid of that. Completely forgot we had a train in there. Right. Clone this train. Give it new orders. Delete that lot. Full load here. Come down there. Drop it off here. And... We're going to need at least three trains. There we go. Pop the signals in. Sorted. Like that. Just so much. Brandon says, oh dear. I love the random memes we create. Egg just made the wizard Brandon is lost. Oh no. Let's have a look. Where is it? Where's the wizard Brandon is lost? Is it in the off topic? No, it's not an off-topic. Is it an open TTD? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wizard Brandon is lost. Oh, I love that. I've got to try and open that image and just put it on screen for everybody to see. There we go. I, I Can I make it bigger? Yeah, I can. Isn't that cool? It's just a bit of fun. I, lo I love it when our community just has a bit of fun. Which happens often. There's another one in there that says Master Hellish is getting old. I think somebody did that for uh, my birthday. Okay, so we've got uh, another coal mine. How many coal mines is that now? One, two, three, four, five. We've got five coal mines all nicely hooked up. I guess we could run engineering supplies all the way down from this port, from this wharf. But I've got a feeling this wharf is only really creating enough supplies for these two. I mean, it is still gung ho and it needs 80 a month. And it's producing 162 a month. So it's like bang on the borderline. Is this modded? Yeah, we've got one mod. Uh, the mod is first four. That's it. Standard game of open TTD with first four and 90 degree turns turned off. Um, right then. So this is basically, like I said, this is our money maker. This is what's going to enable us to expand and do better. It might be that we actually do start a, uh, a whole network down here creating coke is it coke we create yes we do create coke now what i was thinking was is that we section up the world so we have one whole area dedicated for making a certain batch of produce then we go somewhere else in the world and we have a whole area here making a different batch of produce and Coal Coke, not Coca-Cola Coke or any sort of other Coke. And then we bring it all together in um, some sort of bay or foundry. Now looking at this, there is kind of groups of things that come together. And like the electric arc furnace, the scrap yard are kind of together because the scrap goes together with that and the bulk terminal might also be kind of integrated with that and then the basic oxygen furnace and the blast furnace and the iron ore mines are all kind of bunched together as well so again remember i put the link in chat a couple of times or if you're not sure checking out on the internet 
it's the first four economies steel town diagram actually i'll show you quickly i will show you quickly why not where's it gone there it is let's drag it out let's zoom in and let's show you here it is so this is the cargo flow so at the moment we're kind of doing this little bit on the side which is kind of in its own little bubble coal mine only goes to a coke oven that's like the simplest thing you can start off with pretty much uh, you've got other things a little bit like that like iron ore mine only goes to a blast furnace um so yeah we need to be careful about how we kind of link these sorts of things together uh brandon i think reposted the link and i think we we need to group these up and put them in various different parts of the world and bring them all together quite nicely and i think we'll be able to make a really interesting map with some really interesting stuff going on that's the plan anyway what was that wait so they removed power plants um i, d I don't didn't i didn't see power plants on there the, the coal doesn't go to where i think you're thinking it goes the coal goes um from a coal mine not to a power plant but to a co uh, to a coke oven where it gets turned into coke coal tar and sulfur we're not transporting it anywhere yet but what we'll probably look at next time is bring in more primary industry sections together and start looking at secondary industries which will be nice we also will do some passenger stuff gotta do pass what's that that's a bulk terminal and a bulk terminal produces manganese rubber plastics ferrochrome and aluminium i keep thinking we're using them we're not we're using the wharfs so we've only got 86 percent transported at the moment what's our ratings uh 67 percent did i say 86 i meant 68 if i said that hmm we definitely need to get our ratings up but that probably just means more trains overall it looks like it's going okay we've still got gung-ho production here and still got gung-ho production there so it looks like it was all pretty smooth well there we go folks we are going to leave this one here for today now the next open ttd series 9 live stream should be next tuesday same time next week um, but keep an eye out on the announcements on um discord to find out uh if there's any changes to that we're going to get the company name in a moment and we're going to find out who that is and it looks like we haven't actually had our winner shout up to claim their prize and as we're at the end of the stream i think we need to re-roll that so that means uh the winner of the giveaway for the game called hugh is dj egg congratulations egg i know i've got you on discord so i'll send it to you over there well done mate and we're gonna now have a look at the voting for the polls and i'll share this on screen if i can let's see yeah i'm pretty sure i can share this yeah we can share this so uh here we go here's the polls this is part of my, uh the dashboard part of the dashboards i get for um controlling the bot you can see there's various of different bits and bobs down the side there but you can see that um trains are us didn't actually get any votes uh, hellish and daughter got a vote and hellish hauler's got quite a few it's actually a very narrow second place but with fed up express uh with eight votes and 53 percent of the total votes we're going to close the poll and complete it fed up express was indeed the winner there so i'm just going to nip into the game and just go in and just set up my company uh company name 
We're no longer going to be called Drenningworth Transport. We're going to be Fed Up Express. There we go. Fantastic. Jobs are good and indeed. So, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. It's been a fantastic stream. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. If you have, pass it out. Let people know about... Um, you know that this game that you enjoy and maybe they might enjoy it too and maybe they might enjoy my videos what is this a live event yes Vol. <laughs> you've just no it's just it's just a tuesday night stream we used to do kerbal space program in this slot um and tonight we're doing open ttd and open ttd will be our tuesday game from now on uh, remember this coming weekend there'll be no youtube videos Okay, normally I do a YouTube video on a Saturday and a YouTube video on a Sunday. In a change to the schedule, there'll be no YouTube videos. I will be at a LAN party and streaming on and off throughout the event. So make sure you're watching on uh, out the Discord announcements to find out what's going to happen and all that. So no videos, but some epic streams. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have the lunchtime live stream with the Viewer Plus subscribers. And I believe we're back on the Minecraft server tomorrow, which is cool. Uh, I look forward to more Daisy with those guys, but it's back to Minecraft. And then there'll be no no RimWorld on Thursday, because I'll be getting ready for this LAN party. Uh, so RimWorld will return next week, and we're going to be turning on the ship's reactor. Uh, so that's going to be like, it's like the grand finale of our RimWorld series. If you've missed any of that or any of this... You can catch up with that uh, either by going to my YouTube or go to the website. There is a link to all the playlists and pretty soon we'll get a playlist up for this series as well. But thank you all for watching. Thank you to all the Viewer Plus subscribers to supporting the channel. In particular, Mr. Beantown right now. Um, it, it's fantastic that so many of you get behind me uh, to be able to create this content and improve it. And of course... As soon as we hit 50 Viewer Plus subscribers, we'll do that £50 Steam Voucher giveaway. Take care, everybody. And for now, from me and everybody here, it's goodbye. Ta-ra! <laughs>